Descriptive statistics is an area of statistics where we describe our data set using either tables or charts or graphs. And one of the graphs that is commonly used in descriptive statistics is our box and whisker chart, our box and whisker plot sometimes it's called, or our box and whisker um, graph. Now with the box and whisker graph, we want to make sure that we have five key values from the data set. We want the minimum value that the data set has, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and then the maximum value that we have in our data set. These five specific values from the data set will be parts that we'll use in order to make our box and whisker chart. Now another key component of it is that when we get these values, we want to make sure we have a number line along the bottom as a scaling that we use for our box and whisker plot. And we need to make sure that we're very careful about keeping our uniform increments along that number line so that when we make the box and whisker plot above it, it shows accurately what is happening with the distribution of these five numbers within our, of the data set. So now, when we want to find each of these, it's really important that we put our data set in order from smallest to largest to be able to find them. So let's first look at the data set that I have for an example, and we're going to order our data set from smallest to largest. When you have bigger data sets, you might want to put them in a list in your graphing calculator and have it sort ascending so it puts it in order for you, or sometimes people will put it in a stem and leaf diagram in order to easily put your data set in um, ascending order. So when I scan through here, I see that I have a lowest value of 14, and then 15, then I have 17, 18, 19, then we have um, 24, 24, 27, 29, 32, 35, and 37. So we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 numbers. So it's always good to check to make sure that you have your full data set. And we put it in increasing order. So my minimum data value is 14. And my maximum data value is 37. Now for the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. The first one we want to find out of these is the median. Remember, the median is the number that's in the middle of the data set. Kind of like the median is when you're driving your car, it's in the middle that splits the roads, um, the lanes. So the median is the middle number in the data set. So as I have them in increasing order, I want to see what number is in the middle, and that's my median. If there is no number in the middle because I have an even number of data values, then I just find the average of the middle two numbers. When your data set's small, you can actually kind of just work your way through to see what your middle number would be. So if we match up working from the outsides into the middle, I have the smallest and the largest, and then just kind of work your way through matching them up. And we see that I have 24 and 24 that span the middle where the middle would be. So with these two numbers, if I add them together and divide by two, since they're the same number, I'll just get 24. If they would have been different numbers from each other, I would have actually added them together, divided by two, and if it's not a whole number, I still use the decimal that I would get from that to report as my median. So here my median is 24. Now next up, I want to find the lower quartile. The lower quartile is really just the median of the lower portion of the data set. So here, 
I split the data set coming in from the middle between those two 24s. Um, and I'm going to look at this lower part of the data set and find the median of it. So just thinking of this as its own data set, I have finding the number in the middle. In this case, again, I have an even number of data values. So 17 and 18 span the, the median. So I'll go ahead and span the middle. So I'll go ahead and add them together and divide by 2 to get my median. So 17 plus 18 is 35. Divide by 2 is 17.5. So that's my lower quartile. And then the upper quartile is just the median of the top of the data set. So as I look at these values, I have my median of my top values in my data set will be add 29 to 32 and divide by 2. So 29 plus 32 is 61, and 61 divided by 2 is 30.5. So those are our five key values that we're going to use. Now, we want to go ahead and draw our number line. We see that our minimum number is 14, our maximum number is 37. So if I start and um, begin at 10 and then increment by fives, so I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. And I want to make sure that I've done equal increments of values and that I have them very consistently slated. And now we're going to do the box and whisker plot above these. So I'm going to draw a box that starts at 17.5 and ends at 30.5. It starts at the lower quartile number and ends at the upper quartile number. So 17.5 is between my 15 and 20. So I'll start it there. I'll end it at 30.5, so just a little bit on the right of 30. And then we make our box. I put a vertical line in my box above where the median would be. So the median's at 24. So I have the beginning of my box at 17.5, the end of my box at 30.5, and the median is my 24, which is where the vertical line in the box is. And then I whisker down to the minimum value. And I whisker up to the maximum value. So here is our box and whisker plot for this data set. And I just want to make a statement that um, this data set did not have any outliers. In another segment, we'll look at a box and whisker plot that might have outliers.